Yeah, check this out. The Shaft Sizzle. Out there West Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Hyphy, hype shit, all mixed up in one. But none of it, you dig? I'm out here with Distortion and Static, and you are tuned in. Now we're gonna hit you with this next video. Here we go. Okay, before we get into the background questions, man, why don't you talk about the new projects you got coming out? Talk about the stuff that people can expect from you coming out in, you know, 2006, 2007, and later than that, man. Well, you know, I got an album coming out, you know what I'm saying, in October called Good Game, The Transition. You understand me? Because I made a, a major transition in my life, you feel me? But I ain't going to get into all that and beat your ears up with it right now. I'm going to go ahead and let you, you know what I'm saying, peep gangster. Or I should say, just peep good game. Because you know what I'm saying? only thing gangster is my experience, man. Please believe it. But now, yeah, I got that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we got a new Junction album coming. You know what I mean? We're in the process of making it right now. I'm not going to really speak on that because I like to surprise. You know, I like the element of surprise. You feel me? That's that's how we do it. So, I mean, uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, you know. Okay, so come from Oakland, man. How would you get started in this rap game, man? Just give them a timeline about how you got started. Well, I've been rapping since, you know, since, since Curtis Blow. You feel me? But now as far as, like, professionally, you know, I jumped in in 94. I was a youngster. You know what I mean? On that, now I can't say really backpack because I always been street with it, you feel me? But I always, uh, you know, tried to put the poetic on it, you feel me? Because in the time that I came in, hip hop was still living to the point to where, you know, I wanted to put a twist on it coming out that West Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Dogtown to Ghost Town, you know what I mean? I didn't want to sound like everybody else, so I tried to put a little, you know what I'm saying, a little twist on it and put some hip hop with it. Being that I am a hip hop fan, you feel me? I grew up on Run DMC, LL Cool J, you know. Cool G rap, you know what I'm saying? Big Daddy Kane, special ed. I'm like from that from that era, you know. I was a youngster, man, soaking that up. But uh, you know, I've been I've been spitting there since. But then, you know, I went through some things, man. You know what I'm saying? I was uh in a hospital for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I had a real serious cancer situation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they had to cut it out of me, man. You know what I mean? I was down for a minute, spent off rap, and you know what I'm saying? And kept it moving. We gonna raise the voice a little bit, cause the uh, you know, street sweepers is coming. You know what I'm saying? You know how them street sweepers move, especially if you got one at the house clipped up, sitting in the closet. You know what I mean? All you real uh, block monsters know what I'm talking about. But check it out, you know. Yeah, so I had a little, you know what I'm saying, a little obstacle I had to jump over. You feel me? And uh, inshallah, I was able to do it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all have it with that. Man, that sounds real cool, man. I mean, because you definitely had an original style when you came out with Boxcar Sessions, man. I mean, because he told you, you know, you said you got that style from Curtis Blow, you know what I'm saying, all the original MCs. Talk about some non-hip-hop influences that really made your style up, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, you know, non-hip-hop influences that made my style up really... My style came from really just how I grew up, you feel me? My experiences in the game, my experiences in dealing with, you know what I'm saying, MCs, because I'm not a rapper, I'm an MC, you feel me? And, and just living, you feel me? Just like this album I just did, that's coming out, is an album from my experience. You know, I'm, I'm only spitting straight from the heart. Before, I used to spit from the heart but I decorated it I decorated it with a lot of style and you know what I'm saying I tried to put you know dumb pauses in it and hit it and you feel me but now I don't really care about that you know what I'm saying I'm not I don't love rap no more you feel me cuz it's that's exactly what it is it's rap you feel me so you know hopefully I can you know what I'm saying start a lightweight revolution to where other dudes like myself that's really you know what I'm saying beyond the glitter and the glory and the fake ass schism of, of trying to become you know what I'm saying a superstar or whatever you know what I'm saying but it's out here really just down to spit real spit and to use it as a tool to really uplift for something that you believe in to the point to where you will die over it that you will die for it you know what I'm saying if you'll die over jury and, and tennis shoes and, and a trick then I mean you know your position out here in, this, in these streets man and really on this earth is real hollow you feel me? It's real shallow. So I really, you know what I mean? I'm really not going to give too much more press to that. So we're going to scoot that over. But, uh, you know, I'm out here really on a mission, man, to really put.
push the real truth, you know what I'm saying? Righteousness, you dig? With that street, you know what I'm saying? Proudness sprinkled over it, man, because you know you got to be real to spit the truth. You know what I mean? Not the truth of another man, but the truth of the one that made the man that's spitting that so-called truth, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Talk about the Kansas situation, which is unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? And and that would have buried most rappers, you know what I'm saying? But it made you want to put out, you know, some more shit, you know what I'm saying? It made you want to put out a more album. So talk about how you overcame and how you wanted to put out some more stuff, how you wanted to persist and continue after that situation, you know what I'm saying? Which would have buried most, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, like I said, I spent off rap for a minute. You know what I'm saying? In 03, 04, I was locked down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for some, you know what I'm saying, some some other, sh you know what I'm saying? But now, I was down for 03, 04. When I got out, I really didn't want to, really, you know what I'm saying? I was beyond rapping, man, you know what I'm saying? I lost my love for it, you know what I mean? And But, I, you know, I never lose a skill, you know what I'm saying? But I always practice and get down. But at the same time, I only did that really just to keep my sword sharp, you feel me? But... To be out here really spitting now, you know, like I said, it's a purpose connected to it. It's not for self-worship or self-glorification or self-praise or arrogantly, you feel me? I'm confident, but I ain't arrogant, you dig? So, you know, I'm using it really as a tool to push the truth and, you know what I'm saying, to ostracize this whack shit and to really let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, inshallah, what the truth is. And hopefully, you know, I'll do that. So, understand that. You know, you dudes out here spitting for nothing as far as just getting money and brawls and y'all niggas is weak, man. I'm tired of hearing that, man. Jay-Z done ran through, you know what I'm saying, that street shit in so many angles. It ain't really too much more you can twist up out of it, especially if you ain't real with it, you know. And all the real niggas I know out here trying to get it and, you know what I'm saying, slanging bricks and hitting, and hitting, you know what I'm saying, and hitting, 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 the, hitting the block. It's really, it really ain't about rapping, man. They ain't about getting their money. But, you know, it's a hustle, so it is what it is. But, like I said, you know, I use my experiences and, 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 and my trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying, as fuel to throw on the fire and to keep, you know what I'm saying, pulling from the wood, man, and, 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 and spitting the truth concerning it, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's like really a blessing that I'm out here still walking. So, you know, I got to give it back to the one that gave me the strength to do that, you know what I mean? So, you know, please understand that. You know, regardless of what you hear, and when you hear this record, understand that it's straight from the heart, man, and it's, it's spiritually based, you know what I'm saying, and uh, gangster laced. Without that gangster shit, feel me? So, understand, man, you know, when you hear me, that you hearing a soldier, man, a soldier for the one that created you. That's me, cuz. So, when you hear me, you know what I'm saying, listen with your heart, man, not your ears. And don't get it twisted, man. You know, y'all think I'm out here on some nostalgically, you know what I'm saying, lightweight, spiritual, or religious, or whatever. I will split you. I will down you. But only for the sake of a lot, though. So, feel me on that. Yo, man, I appreciate that, man. But um, definitely talk about, you know what I'm saying, you, you definitely reflected on the past. You know, talk about what you see in 09, 2010. You know, what do you see 10 years from now for Safir, man? Well, you know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a little deep right here, right? Hopefully, hopefully, I won't be here in 10 years, you dig? Because, you know, the safest place for me is the battlefield, you dig? And uh, I'm trying to really run with the Mujahideen and get down here and really, you know what I'm saying, get out here and, 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 and chunk them and, 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 and get down for a law, you feel me? So hopefully, you know, I'll be accepted and embraced before that 10 year period, but if I'm still here, man, please believe you're gonna see me out spitting the truth and uh, trying to get some of these evil deeds wiped off, man, because I got a gang of them. So, you know, can I throw some shouts out? Man, definitely, definitely. Um, before you throw some shouts out, can I ask one more question? You can ask though, as man. many as you want, man. Okay, yeah, I just got one more. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids out there, you know what I'm saying, that are, you know, 13, 14, maybe in high school that, that you know, that know about you. And they want to be where you're at, you know what I'm saying? So what advice can you give to those kids that that want to be, you know, that want to have that major label, that want to have those successful hit records, you know what I'm saying? What advice can you give to those kids out there that are just starting rapping, you know? Well, the advice I can give you, 
is to put God first. You know what I'm saying? Believe in, believe in that and your rest of your dreams will come true. Don't believe in a dream, you know what I'm saying? Because you will be heartbroken at the end of that. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe in a dream and, and, and think you just going to, you know, things is going to fall in your lap. And you got to put in work. You got to get down. And it's not, it's beyond just spitting and getting spotted. You understand me? By somebody in the club, man. You got to put out mixtapes. You got to get out here and hustle, man. They want to see numbers, you dig? So, you know, it basically starts with the ambition and the desire to really get out here and do it. But make sure you're doing it for the right reason. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, for you kids out there, stay out of trouble. You did. Shout outs, man. Definitely let them know. Let them know who you down with, man. Let them know who you down with. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm 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 down with the the HJs, man. Hobo Junction. We just call it the Junction in 06. You know what I mean? That's been my clique. I'm down with, you know what I'm saying? The Muslims. Masjid Al Islam. You know what I'm saying? That's my community. You know what I'm saying? I want to throw some shout out to the brothers. Iman Musa, Abdul Malik, you know what I'm saying? Who else? Uh, uh, Abdul Malik Love, uh, Hakeem, the brother Amir Suleiman. What's up, Amir? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good to see you, Aki, when you see this. Uh, who else? Uh, the brother Dawood and Akil in San Quentin holding it down. The brother Pistol Peep Rock, aka Hakeem, out there in Solano. You know what I'm saying? Y'all out there in the belly of the beast. Assalamu alaikum, I'm sending you my salams. Brother Akil and Daoud, I know y'all ain't never met me, but I love you because I love the one that created you, you feel me? So, outside of that, I want to throw shouts out to my, my young soldiers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Lil' Safir, you know what I'm saying? Pharaoh, Emil, Asia, you know what I mean? Y'all know what it do. Your daddy's still out here trying to get it, or I should say trying to do it, you know what I mean? I'm an OG, man, please believe it. Ball spit. You know, right, one. Missed it, man. Let them know who you are in case they missed it, man. Again, let me go ahead and relay this out for you real good with some good game. Safir, a.k.a. The Saucy Nomad, a.k.a. Mr. No-No, a.k.a. Shaft Sizzle. That's 06, man. Please believe it. We got the mixtape coming out, Turntable Tycoons. You know what I'm saying? Paint the Town. That's the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got that many features because real MCs don't need features. You feel me? That's a political game. I got a few, but now I got some real spit for y'all, man. Check me out. All right. West Oakland, California. West Coast. Brr. One. Who is this? Hey, this is Maestro, man. ABB Records. We about to hit y'all in 06, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some young sharks on there. We got some old bosses. Please believe it. Cause I'm an old man, cuz. But I got hands like Jet Li, man. Please believe it. What y'all know about Maestro? Check it out. Mother shit, I really had my pops. Then my brother went, trying to bank the ride. And through the grace of God, my other brother went. And Cat, that's my nigga. Green and CJ. You better ask my sister. The king is replay. Replay. Shit seems serene to DJs. What happened to music? They beat for cliches. Listen to it. Integrity. Who tell it? ABB Records 06. Chef Sizzle. West Oakland. Don't blast like a West Coast. I'm gone. <laughs>